recognizing who he actually is is what brings joy to the season. I want to tell you a story of something that just happened to me recently. It's another one of those lawn stories. This one has to do with leaves. I had I'd raked the leaves, but our trees were late in shedding their leaves this year. I don't know if that was your experience or not, but they were. it was like they were coming down and coming down. And I, I actually felt kind of lucky at one point because the first go through, it was like they all blew off my yard and they blew it into somebody else's yard, you know. But I, that didn't last forever. Well, in our neighborhood, in Moline, they send a truck around, this big sucky truck, you know, he's got a huge truck and it's got this big vacuum sweeper on the back that they follow after and they have a couple of guys that are kind of helping him to gather the leaves up and they don't rake your yard but they kind of pull the pile of leaves together and then they fill this great big huge container in the back with the leaves people just pile up their leaves on the curbs and the trucks go through and pick them up well i had been delaying and i had planned actually on uh, getting my final pass of leaves because they'd already come through once and i knew that they were coming through my wife told me they were coming through again on such and such a date last week and so i thought okay the first of the week i'm gonna get the leaves out well it rained so i didn't and then all of a sudden it's they're supposed to come through on thursday but when we woke up wednesday morning we saw this little tractor going through with a guy sitting on it from the city who was kind of helping get everything in piles with uh oh and so I quick got dressed, got my leaf blower going, and it was misty out. But I, I started working on it, and I heard, and I recognized the voice of the Lord over time of experience. I heard him say to me, whether you believe this or not, I heard him say to me, I'll help you. I'll help you and I thought I think the Lord just said he'd help me <laughs> so I'm out there and actually I'm finding it I had to put some effort into it but it was they were actually collecting pretty easy and I thought of a couple of things that I tried it and it made it better and it wasn't me in all my smartness coming up with these ideas he was helping me by putting these ideas in my head that I hadn't thought of but the end of the story is this. I got the, my, my yard completely cleared of leaves and I got them all in a nice neat pile along the curb just as the truck was rounding the bend. <laughs> Let me tell you about something that has really enriched over the years my understanding that God loves me. And it's not been his big acts of power. It's been the little things that he didn't need to do. Just a pile up of little tiny things that you can easily overlook. But since I've begun to recognize the little things helping me realize that God loves me, I've been looking for the little things, and I've been acknowledging uh, the little things. Actually, that was a Hebrew custom. I know that Eric could probably tell you more about this than I can, but they had, they, they man, they'll, they bless anything that moves. It's a, it's a habit. I bless you, Lord, for this. I bless you for the color green. I bless you for this. I bless you for that. It's a habit of blessing God in everything you want to feel, feel better about life in general do you want to experience more life the joys of Jesus in general begin to develop the ha habit of blessing everything that moves <laughs>